All right. When you think electric snow melting system, most people, the first question that comes to their mind is how much electricity is it going to cost me to run this system? How much will it cost me to heat my driveway, heat my walkway, heat my stairs? And the main concern is, is because it's a lot of power and it's a lot of energy that we're consuming. You see, traditional snow melting systems, the way they work is that they will heat the surface as long as it's snowing. The sensor that's installed in the ground or the aerial sensor that's installed will detect the snow at the right temperature and send a signal to the controller to say, turn on the power, send the current through the cables. But it's going to do that consistently for the entire time that it's snowing. And what happens is, in the case where you have, for example, minus five degree temperature outside and it's snowing for 24 hours, the ground temperature outside is actually going to climb from minus five all the way to 20, 25 degrees Celsius by the end of that 24 hour snowstorm. And we had a big problem with that because beyond 10 degrees Celsius, all that energy is wasted. We could be stopping the system and recuperating that electricity. And that's when we designed the Polar Pulse Panel. You see, the Polar Pulse Panel has a different way of tackling snow melting. As opposed to heating the entire duration of the snowstorm, it's going to heat up until a target temperature. So we predefine a temperature to let's say 8 degrees Celsius. We are going to melt the snow all the way up to 8 degrees Celsius and at that point we're going to maintain that temperature and 8 degrees Celsius is a sufficient temperature to melt the snow adequately. So what happens is that the polar pulse panel is going to send current to the cables up until it reaches 8 degrees Celsius. At that point, once it reaches the target temperature, it's going to release. And then once it drops to 7.5, it's going to give it back power. So it keeps on pulsing that way, and every time it's releasing, every time it's not giving power, that's money that the customer is saving. So we've done some studies over the last three years. We've built multiple panels and the total consensus on this is that we were able to save anywhere between 48 and 52% of the original cost that these customers would have spent in electrical bills. So that's how we tackle the electrical consumption of a snow melting system and how we make a difference in the industry, and that's by producing high quality, innovative, high efficiency products that are making the experience and also the investment in a snow melting system make sense.